under segregation, we could not be in the same environment, use the same beaches as white folks. You still could go to the beach, but why would you want to go down there if you don't have a place to change your clothes, if you're not going to be able to get a meal easily, and if somebody may slash your tires or give you a ticket? There was a couple of letters that I received. Tony Corley, Black Spook Surfer. Wait in the waters, wait in the water, children, wait. The first account of surfing in Africa was written in the 1640s by a German merchant traveler, Michael Hemerson. Anytime I get into the ocean, I just feel like I'm blessed, I'm being baptized. And so for me, I just want to share that. I worked in the outdoor industry. As much as I enjoyed it, I never really felt comfortable because there wasn't much representation. I started Intersection as a way to create a safe space and a welcoming space and a fun space and a positive entry point for other women of color who want to learn how to surf. It's a collective of all of us telling our own stories so that we can have a history, a legacy that we can all be proud of. This movement of surfing is just a part of the whole movement of uh, black and brown people taking back their place in the outdoors. I got my mental together. I got my spiritual together. I need a physical outlet. And that's when the idea of surfing popped back up. Wait in the waters, wait in the water, children, wait.